Okay, well, more work on build packs and pinball. I thought I would just show you how the shift registers are being wired up. This is a 8-bit uh, serial input parallel output shift register, which is actually kind of similar to the chip that's inside of a Nintendo controller, except for it goes backwards. A Nintendo controller reads in parallel inputs, the buttons, and outputs them in a serial fashion. This one, you send serial bits to it, and it outputs them in a parallel fashion, which is kind of cool because if you put these things in series, notice how they're in series, you can basically program all 512 LEDs with just three wires. You just keep clocking in data so it goes and fills up with every clock pulse. So I've got this little procedure down. You um, bend up the pins that are going to attach to the LEDs, the output pins, and the pins that are straight are common pins such as power, ground, and the clock and latch. So you can actually just piggyback the chips and um, those will all be connected automatically. Reminds me in the old days, <clears throat> the old computer days, people would have like ROM chips on their old Atari or their Commodore or whatever and you would just piggyback new ROM chips on the old ones and just lift up the output enable pins and oh, those were good times, I miss those days. Um, oh, I'd like to uh, give a shout out to my mom. Uh, a couple years ago, she was like, what would you like for Christmas? Yeah, that's actually how she talks, obviously. And I'm like, I could use some new wire cutters. And she's like, okay, and she got me these. And, uh, you know, it's one of the best presents I've ever gotten from a parent. I mean, you know, tools are always a good present, at least for guys. So, uh, yeah, thanks. So, yeah, so basically you just um, solder these wires onto the output pins. One of the output pins is up here by my finger, but I'll attach that later. I'm soldering the EZ7 first. Uh, yeah, and it's actually a lot more difficult to attach these wires to the LEDs than it is to attach the shift registers to the wires. But, you know, whatever. So I hope to have this thing working pretty soon. Uh, I did notice it does draw a lot of power. I mean, LEDs are pretty low power, but you start piling them up and they actually do consume a lot of power. It is my estimate that this board will consume about 3 amps at 3.3 .3 volts. So, yeah.